going to do something I've never done before in my life, ever, ever, you've probably never done it either. I know you have it in this church. I'm going to ask you to give an applause. The applause is going to be for Sam for that prayer for his wife of 40 years. Come on. I did that to myself. First of all, I should 
question. I would have made any remarks about it. The first thing my mother ever taught me when I was a little child is you don't ever make remarks about a person's personal appearance, whether they have a beard or not. You don't do that. And I felt very bad that I had made a remark, and it was kind of a caustic remark about her tattoo, until I found out this was a constant, constant reminder to her of pain that she had gone through. Isaiah 49, verse 13 and following. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exult, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. But Zion, Israel, Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. The Lord asked the question, Can a woman forget her nursing child? that she should have no compassion on the son of her womb? Well, even these may forget, but I will never forget you. Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Now this is written when the people of Israel had been taken into captivity. They lost their nation some five and a half centuries before Jesus Christ was born. They lost their temple, they lost their city, they lost their nation, they were hauled off as slaves, as exiles to the land of Babylon far away, and they felt God had let them down and had disappointed them. Sometimes you feel that way. Sometimes you do, come on, be honest, you feel like God has disappointed you, he has let you down, he has forsaken you, he has forgotten you, you feel that, everybody feels forgotten sometimes. And God is saying, it's very unlikely that a mother could absolutely forget her firstborn child. She might, there could be circumstances, but me, I, God, will never forget you. I have written you, inscribed you, tattooed you on the palms of my hands. I'm not going to take long with this. I had three points, but I'm going to take one point away, and we're just going to get two points. Here they are. Uh, I'm not going to ask if anyone here has had a tattoo. I don't know. I have never had an actual. You're laughing. I have a uh oh. oh. <laughs> I've never had one, but is it painful? I mean, yes, to me, it is. it is painful. I have a testimony to that fact. I'm not going to ask you to show me. But do you realize? How painful it was for God to engrave, to cut you into the palm of his hands. And when and where did he do that? When God became flesh, when God became human, when God came to this earth as a baby, grew up, loved people, was kind to people, taught people, and then hung on a cross. And when those nails punctured into the flesh of the Son of God, it was God engraving you in the palms of His hand. And it is with indelible ink of blood you have been written on the palm of God's hands with the blood of His Son. Your name is written there. Your person is written there. You can believe that, have faith in that. 
and trust in that, that you are forever there in the palm of his hand. Not only is it painful to be inscribed on the hand of God, but it is permanent. I don't know when you're 80 years old what that tattoo is going to look like then. It is so pretty now. It might just be a blob, but it will be still there. And when you have your name, your soul, your person, when you are engraved into the crucified hands of Jesus, when you do that, you are there forever and ever, and you will never, ever be taken away. Favorite, favorite verse of mine. Read it at almost every funeral. My sheep said, Jesus, hear my voice. John chapter 10. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal, eternal, eternal Forever, 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 everlasting, everlasting, everlasting. I give them eternal life. And they shall never, ever, never, ever perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father which gave them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I am the Father are one. When in simple faith you accepted the sacrifice that Jesus Christ paid for you on Calvary, when you accept the fact that he reached out his hands to accept the bite of the nail, that tattoo, that engraved, that card, that cut, you into the hands of Jesus. You are there and it can never, ever be taken away. When I get old someday, and I'm going to someday, the lead will still be in my hand. When you get old and you will someday, you will still hands of God. Oh, we sing the old song we love it so well. He's got the whole world in his hands. Got the little bitty baby in his hands. But he's got you in his hands. He loves you that much that he will suffer the pain and he will give the permanency of you being in him forever and ever. Can you believe that? Can you accept that? Will you accept that? Make it known now.